I am glad we had a chance to visit. Robin was worried about you, but I said you're too strong not to bounce back. And you will, like she did. I love the way the two of you talk about each other. <laughs> so open with respect. Yeah, well, we have our moments right now. She's all over me for not taking down the outdoor Christmas decorations yet. It is almost spring. I know, I know. She says the same thing. Clearly, I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Patrick, how would you feel if Robin cheated on you with your brother? I don't know. To say what hurt would be an understatement, but you know, I'd like to believe that I'd try and be fair. I would ask to know why, you know, what my part in it was. But we're human. We're imperfect. Is it possible to be imperfect and still be a good mother? You know when you're on a plane and you're traveling with children and they say when the oxygen masks come down to put yours on first and then you put your kids on? Well, that's what you're doing right now. You're taking care of yourself. It makes you a good mother, don't you think? I have to be okay for them. Well, don't forget me. I mean, I gotta get by without my best scrub nurse. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too long. It won't be long. As long as you concentrate on yourself, that's the most important thing right now. throwing yourself at another woman's husband? I hope you realize the position you have put me in by claiming that you killed Claudia. You defend Carly, if the jury don't buy it, then you, you know, you're not the one going to prison. If it goes south, I can kiss my retainer goodbye. And my shoe budget. <laughs> I didn't realize how much you cared. <laughs> it's actually not funny. The arraignment is on Tuesday. I have to comb through every precedent to see what I can find. I have to amend Carly and Sam's stories so that they support a plea of self-defense and they can't sound too bad. Otherwise, the prosecution is going to destroy them both on the stand. Sam's testimony, short but sweet. Was, uh, you know, she showed up late, basically to take Carly to the hospital. Then we'll, we'll, we'll turn over to Carly and, you know, no one can spin a story better than her, her so I mean, you know. They're going to wonder why she didn't tell the truth the first time around. To protect the father of her sons. And then the waterworks will start and, it, and we're good. We're good. Sonny, I just don't know how comfortable I am placing your entire future in the hands of your ex-wife. Well, Diane, it wouldn't be the first time. And I'm still standing. Good, you're awake. It's time for us to have a little chat. A song by Paul Eklund, Halloween Rainbow Song, created, well, I don't know the date. The song is going to be called, It's Time for a Sad Little Chat, using B and E minor. It's time for us to have a little, little, little chat. A time to have a little, little, little chat. It's time for us to have a little, little chat. Are you ready to chat with me? Chat, 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 chat away. Chat, 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 chat away. We'll chat together like two little birds, chatting, chatting away. I'm glad you're awake, you're away. It's time for you to have a little chat with me. I'm glad you're awake, away. Let's chat now and see. Chat, 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 chat. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-